Welcome to Digging Deeper, Make Creativity Your Business Advantage. I'm your host, Jason Falls. Today on the big program, we're going to talk small, medium business strategy with Gordon Henry. He is the Chief Strategy Officer at Thrive. That is an end-to-end -end small, medium business solution, software solution. Uh, I actually want to dig into it for personal reasons, which we'll get into in the show, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, uh, Gordon is also the host of the Winning on Main Street podcast. So we'll talk about a few things that will help you with your business today. Then I want to talk to you uh, about something a little different we're going to start doing with our audio podcast, the audio version of this show. Some of you watch the live stream. Thank you for joining us for that. Some of you, though, download the audio version of Digging Deeper after the fact on demand whenever you want to listen to it. Uh, it's available wherever you get your podcasts. So we're going to start uh, offering some exclusive content on the audio podcast. And we'll tell you more about that a little bit later on in the show as well. Before we get into the depths of the show, though, I do want to talk a little bit more uh, focused conversation here on podcast. Some of you, of course, joining us on the live stream this morning. Again, thank you for doing so. But many of you do listen to the recording on the Digging Deeper podcast, which is on demand wherever you listen to podcasts. Did you know that if you do, you are one of over 100 million Americans each month that listen to podcasts? Now, if you're reading between the lines there for your business or if you're at an agency for your clients' businesses, ignoring podcasts as a method to reach an audience is probably not real smart. But Podcasts are hard to find. They're hard to track. It's nearly impossible to find reliable audience size and demographic information to know which ones are, are right to sponsor or to pitch for earned media from a PR perspective, right? Well, not anymore. Podchaser Pro is the professional version of Podchaser, which helps anyone find, manage, rate, and follow podcasts. I think of it as an IMDB for podcasts. You don't have to clutter your podcast app with a bunch of subscriptions you never listen to. Podchaser helps you find and manage them like you're subscribing to blogs all in one place. Podchaser Pro, however, gives you access to that critical audience information you need for media planning and buying, public relations, or influencer outreach to podcasts. You find a podcast, click on the Pro tab, and see everything you need right there. If there's a piece of information you don't see or can't find, Podchaser Pro subscribers have a personal concierge. Just ask them to go find it. And when, within a day or two, they get back to you with that information. I've used Podchaser Pro to make recommendations for media buys and sponsorships to clients. I've also used it to prioritize podcasts for pitching guests, trying to be part of the show itself. It is a must-have tool for finding, prioritizing, targeting, and tracking podcasts for your business or their clients. If your brand or agency would like to find out more, go to podchaserpro.com slash falls. Sign up there. Make your podcast outreach and media planning more effective. That's podchaserpro.com slash falls. Gang, if you're dialing into the live broadcast on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, you can jump in the comment section there or hit at reply on the Twitter video feed and ask questions and interact with us here on the show. For you small and medium business owners out there, you're probably going to have a question or two you might want to ask Gordon. So jump in the comments, say hello and ask your question. I'll do my best to surface those questions as the show goes along. It, appear, it appears that the, the plumbing on the interwebs is working today. We always appreciate that. Uh, and, and so Izzy House is already in the house saying hello. So hello, Izzy. Thank you for joining as you always do. Izzy was a guest a few weeks ago. Her new book, Space Marketing, is out there. So go check that out. Uh, or go back and check out the interview with her if you want to go back to the archives and check that out too. So lots of other people jumping in to say hello today. We'd love to hear your questions, comments, and all that good stuff as we get into the big program. Okay, now it's uh, time to actually get into the big program because that's what we're here for. Nobody wants to hear me babble on the whole time. Uh, so we're going to bring in our guest for the show. Gordon Henry is the Chief Strategy Officer at Thrive. He's also host of the Winning on Main Street podcast. Gordon, good morning. How are you, my friend? Nice to be with you, Jason. Thanks for having me. I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. I actually have a, a personal project, a side gig that's going on that makes me want to ask a, a dozen questions about Thrive. So we're going to do that. Uh, but let, let's start off by talking in general about small business. Thrive is an end-to-end -end business software solution for the SMB space. So you've been in touch with a lot of those folks in the last several years. What's the reality of what the last 20 months or so with COVID and such have done to the pulse of small businesses out there. What's the temperature of the, of the audience these days? Yeah. Um, well, again, thanks for having me on. So the answer to that is, I would say, a bit surprising um, to many people um, because there's been so much bad news out there about what's 
been happening across the country. And of course, you know, it needs to be said from a personal health standpoint, obviously COVID had a tremendous impact on many, many people's lives. Uh, and for that, you know, we, we, we're all, you know, sad, um, you know, for those who were affected in a, in a meaningful way, uh, who got sick or even died. But from a business standpoint for small businesses, what we found was um, it was a bit of a tale of two cities. If you were in the travel business, the hospitality business, the restaurant business, particularly the fine dining, uh, those businesses definitely had a very, very difficult time when people uh, got locked down uh, and now are just emerging. And of course, now they're facing a different problem, which is they can't find help in many cases. I can't tell you how many restaurants mm -hmm. and other types of places I've been to where um, they either aren't open or they can only have limited seating or limited hours because they can't find the help. And I think that's a true fact uh, in many, many markets across the country. Um, however, uh, from a Thrive perspective, uh, our CRM solution is largely geared towards service businesses. And when I say service businesses, um, it's a lot of businesses that work on your home, a lot of businesses that work on your automobile, uh, a lot of businesses that work on, uh, well, work for you in like uh, fitness, for example, like like yoga or instructors. Um, many businesses that work on uh, what I, we call personal services, like things to do with your pets, you know, cat, cats and dogs, you know, mm -hmm. walking and cleaning and things like that. Um, and then a, a smattering of also like medical and legal. So lots of different types of services. And by and large, those businesses uh, thrived. They did very, very well. Um, particularly those businesses in the home service area, because so many people were home, uh, weren't going out, weren't going to restaurants, weren't traveling, weren't spending money in other ways that they normally do. And were looking around the house, realizing there were projects they wanted to do in the home. And so they called those contractors uh, and tried to get them to come in. Most of the contractors that we work with uh, probably is the busiest they've ever been. Uh, and they just, you know, in many cases, they they can't even come to your house to do the job for another six months because they have so many stacked up. So that's why I say tale of two cities. Yeah, and 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 I I can attest to the fact that your observations are true, at least for me anyway, because I had a number of home improvement projects, and I wanted to upgrade my internet, and I wanted to do this, and I wanted to do that. Um, and I actually uh, not to I, I remodeled my bathroom during during the whole COVID thing. And I, I recently got a, a price quote on something else. I don't recall off the top of my head what it was, but I couldn't get a person to come out until March. Like th these people are booked for six months ahead of time now. Meanwhile, you know, your fast food restaurants and that type of business, they don't have enough. They, they don't have enough people to actually almost stay in business. Um, so it's a, it's a very weird fallout, I think of, of, of COVID, but, uh, you, you framed it rather nicely and I'm glad to hear that the thrive customers were thriving. Uh, and obviously there's lots of good reasons for that. So take us a little bit through thrive. Lots of people sell software, but I think yours does uh, a little of this, a little of that. I personally think it's hard to succinct, succinctly describe it, basically, for me just kind of looking at it on the website and saying, well, how would I describe this to someone? But I don't have to do that all day, every day. You do. So tell us what is Thrive. Yeah. So we call it an end-to-end -end solution or an end-to-end -end customer experience solution. And the reason we say that end-to-end, uh, -end, it's really from the minute that a uh, consumer uh, finds you as a small business to the end of your relationship with them, uh, Thrive captures what you need from them um, uh, throughout. So what do I mean by that? Uh, the first thing is somebody finds you on the web usually, and there is a Google My Business uh, optimization capability here to make sure you rank high. Um, and we also, by the way, have a uh, uh, version of the of uh, thrive where you can buy the website as well so you so if you don't have an up-to-date modern site it's not ranking well it's not google optimized it's not seo friendly we can build that for you and they're terrific sites for small businesses um then when you think about the relationship you have with this with the with your customer um having the uh, uh relationship with them either via email or text capturing their customer information where do they live their phone number their you know vital information and and most importantly a database to put that into that's easy to organize and to find and call up that information and then everything about that person that you collect while you're interacting with them what kind of house if let's say it is a home project what kind of house do they have uh what are the specs what are the you know job 
you know, dimensions or requirements of that job. What's the uh, email and text interaction? All that is captured so that you never you never lose anything. It's all there. So when I look up Jason Falls in my within my CRM, I see everything about you, including, by the way, what my staff interact with you on, all mm -hmm. the conversations there. It's all in one place, not scattered. And then from there, the estimates I give you on the house, the invoices I send you, the payments, and you, we can collect payments directly through the tool, um, and even things like a request for a review. So that, that's why we say end to end, and it really uh, organizes the business and gives you a way to go back in the future and say, oh yeah, who was that guy? I remember doing that house. What was his name? What was the job like? Boom, it's all mm -hmm. there, and it makes it really easy to go back for future jobs. Uh, you can also do neat things like setting um, marketing automation capabilities where if you want to send an email out to all your customers on the first of the month or the first of the season, uh, you can do that. You can send, uh, you know, texts, you know, provided you have the text approvals, things like that. So um, it really gives you the tools you need to to interact with your customers on an ongoing basis. That's pretty awesome. All right. I want to, I want to put it through the, the, the runner here. Um, I want to put it through a filter of let's say hypothetically wink, wink uh, that I am, uh, going to sell advertising on a blog or a podcast or some sort of digital property because that's sort of in the general vicinity of where I'm going with this side hustle thing. <laughs> but I'm one person. I have to reach out to media planners and buyers at the big media agencies. I also have to reach out to those people at ad agencies and brands and so forth. I want to automate as much of that as I can. I do need a website. I want search engines to find me, certainly. I want to be able to manage social media, but I want to be able to also communicate directly with my customers and have that CRM so I can stay on top of contacting them regularly. I might need some marketing automation to run some ads and maybe have some social or email messaging that circles around a sales cycle. Tell me what of, of, of all of that Thrive can do and how complex is it for me to come in and set it up? Yeah. So uh, Thrive does the things you need. Again, uh, I would say of all the things you just said, the key thing you would want to do is number one, you'd have want to have an up-to-date, modern looking website um, that's interactive. Many of the websites you still see are kind of inert, like dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they're just like brochures. Um, customers today, we all expect to interact with you know, the site that we're on. So I want to book an appointment with you. I want to chat with you. I want to send an email or text to you through the site. And I want you to get back to me and, and maybe I want to give you my phone number and just have you text me back. I don't want to have to call you. Uh, maybe I'm looking at this site of yours at 10 o'clock at night. Um, so that's the first thing. Secondly, uh, when I give you my information, uh, you know, you just said you want to be able to have a database of your, you know, advertising prospects. Mm -hmm. I can give you my data and it goes someplace that you can, again, have it organized and you can respond to me easily and you can respond to 10 or 20 or 30 people who come to your site, not just one at a time. So it would enable you to do all those key things to start to have a relationship electronically with all those customers who come to your site and you'd have a place to store all that information so it's easy to find and you'd be organized. That's great. Now, what what if I also uh, wanted to sell my ad packages on my website and I wanted made to automate as much of that as I could, can Thrive give me that payment processor, a way for people to upload assets to me to run those ads and such? Yeah, hundred um, percent. Your customers can come into your CRM. Uh, you can interact with them, sending documents, uh, or mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, things like invoices, estimates, um, mm -hmm. uh, signature capabilities, and the payments piece is really key because uh, one thing I find so many small businesses are still kind of uh, behind in terms of payments. Um, you know, again, as consumers today, you know, this, you know, to me, you know, this this little phone here, this little iPhone. Uh, you know, it really changed everything the way we interact with most businesses. When you interact with, you know, uh, you know, an Amazon or a Domino's Pizza or an airline or insurance company, I mean, you expect to do everything electronically. You, you would never think of writing them a check nowadays. I mean, you pretty much pay them all electronically, and there's a couple of different ways to do that. We do that as well. In fact, we just um, introduced Stripe, so that's one of the payment capabilities. We have a couple of other different payment capabilities uh, uh, small businesses may prefer. But the point is, is you can accept payments electronically. You don't have to ask anybody to send you a check anymore. That speeds up your cash flow, by the way, so you can you know, get money faster, which is really important for small businesses. Too many small businesses are still mailing bills, waiting for checks to come in. I mean, <laughs> we say cash flow is one of the things that kills small businesses. Speed it up. It's easy to do.
Yeah, so. that's true. Well, and I, and I can I can count on uh, maybe one, yeah I can count on one hand how many checks I've written in the last probably two years. Yeah, uh, personally, and they've always been to organizations that I've wanted to go. WTF? What What are you doing? Like, why can I pay for the credit card? This doesn't make any sense. But anyway, yeah, that's that's my personal ploy. Uh, plot by the way, to, I want to I just want to mention you on the payment thing. Um, you can accept credit cards, but another thing you can do is accept um, debits. Uh, you know, or, or what they call ACH, uh, you know, automatic clearinghouse, where you can debit the customer. Uh, and the benefit to you as a small business is the fees a lot lower. So many small businesses pay these yeah. high fees on credit cards, you know, 2.9% or something for like Visa and MasterCard and as high as 4%, I think, for Amex. Um, for a debit, um, it's much, much cheaper. Yeah. Uh, so you as the small business save money. Yeah, that's good stuff. So I wonder, you know, since you see a lot of different businesses and, and kind of customize the feature set for each, um, what components of, of Thrive or what components of the business suite, if you will, the most SMBs want and need that maybe us marketing heads often forget about or maybe don't push as much as maybe we should? Because we talk about, I mean, I talk about CRM sometime. I talk about social media management. I talk about SEO. But there's components of what you guys provide that the marketing talking heads don't talk about. What, what are those things that emerge as important to small businesses? Yeah, that's a good question. It's still really a lot of the basic stuff. Um, one we talked about is the website piece where businesses realize they need to have a modern presence they don't have today. Um, secondly, the social media piece we didn't really hit on before, but we, as part of your Thrive package, uh, you have access to a social media component and we will do the work for you if you want. Uh, you can do it, but we also include in the packages a certain amount of posting we'll do for the customer every month. So for this, for this small business person who says, yes, but social media, I get it, it's important, but I don't have time to do it myself. Can you mm -hmm. help me? Um, we have a very easy onboarding process where we understand what they're looking for in terms of their social media presence, and we will do the posting on their behalf. So that's that's an important piece. I mentioned the Google My Business optimization to make sure their rankings and they get um, found. Mm -hmm. uh, and then really the whole idea of the inbox is very important. That's the most used component of Thrive is still just the inbox. Um, and again, what's unique about it is it puts it all in one place. So it's not like you have multiple inboxes around or you got to use text for one thing. And it's all you, people can, by the way, you can see on your screen if they want to text you, that text will show up on your on your screen. So you could be on in your Thrive responding to a text and you don't have to even pull out your phone. That's nice. That universal inbox concepts, super mm -hmm. handy, especially mm -hmm. if you're busy and don't want to stay on multiple devices all day. So I, one thing that I know about software uh, or, or I guess one of my opinions about software is it's normally for these this complete package of stuff. The pricing is always to me. Well, not always. In a lot of cases, the pack, the pricing to me is always ridiculous, but you're serving SMBs. It can't be ridiculous. How are you guys structured from a pricing standpoint so people have a general idea of what they need to be thinking about if they're going to jump into this software? Yeah, sure. Well, let me just say before I give, I will give you a price, but um, uh, we have found that many small businesses have started to move to the cloud by, you know, they used to just be working on pen and paper. Um, then maybe a colleague or a kid of theirs said, hey, dad, you got to start doing you know, certain things in the cloud. So maybe they got QuickBooks uh, and they have their QuickBooks online or they have, you know, maybe they're using a free version of MailChimp or something like that. And then they start to add on other things. And sometimes they have two, three, four, five, what we call point solutions, little specific apps that do something for them. And what you realize that once you start going down that road is, hey, I've got like four or five, six apps that I'm using. They don't talk to each other. I'm putting in all this information in these different places. And it's like I've got all these disconnected uh, ways of doing business. And I start to realize that's a problem. And what's a great thing about Thrive is it sort of, again, puts it all together. So you got it all in one place. And, it, you know, it's, 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 it's one system that talks to it, you know, within the system mm -hmm. talks to itself. Um, and by the way, if you do use something like QuickBooks, it does integrate with Thrive. So we have a very easy app store where with one click you can integrate your QuickBooks so the data flows back and forth. You can integrate even your constant contact, many others. Um, so you don't have to stop doing what you're doing. This just gives you more capability. So in terms of the cost, um, our monthly costs are $199, $349, and $499. 
Um, and obviously you get more capacity and more capabilities mm -hmm. with each one. With the one, 199, even at that level, you get all the basic capabilities somebody would really need to start. You just get more uh, and also like more capability for staff as you go up in price. So comparing that to m what most people would be paying if they have even a couple of other apps they're using, it's usually in the same ballpark and obviously it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. That's good stuff. All right. Let's talk about the uh, winning on Main Street uh, podcast, because I know that's something that you do uh, that I, I think is a, as an extension of Thrive. Makes sense mm -hmm. that you're, you're talking about issues that face uh, SMBs on a podcast. Give us a little bit of background on the podcast. Why do you do it? Who do you talk to? And, and uh, how often do you do publish? Yeah, sure. Thanks. So uh, you could find me at winningonmainstreet.com and uh, we put it out every week. Um, it's a once a week podcast. We uh, uh, publish it on Thursday mornings, early Thursday morning. And um, we try to inf uh, speak with uh, somebody who's influential, important in the small business space. Uh, sometimes it's an author, sometimes it's a you know, public speaker. Um, sometimes it's just an SMB themselves who maybe did really well along the way. Um, you know, a guy like Tommy Mello was one we did recently. Tommy's a, a guy who uh, uh, didn't know he wanted to be in the garage door business, but found himself getting into the garage door business. And he's a very smart businessman uh, and marketer. And he's built a business that's, I think, $50 million in sales and a few hundred employees uh, nationwide. And uh, he's a great entrepreneurial story to listen to. And we try to speak to people like that. Um, hopefully that gives a little spark of inspiration to people who are listening as well. Some T uh, tips and techniques. So it's a bit of a variety, but all of it is geared really towards one thing. How can we help small business people learn a little bit, get inspired, think of a better way to go out today and run their business? Nice. I think I need to call uh, him. <laughs> my garage door has been, come to think of it, that's the one that I called and they, I couldn't get an appointment until March was I had a garage door issue and I'm like, I'm still dealing with it. I'm afraid the damn thing's going to fall apart, but uh, you know got a 25 year old house. It's going to happen, I guess, from time to time. Uh, very cool. So uh, Gordon, tell people where they can find you and where they can find uh, the podcast and thrive uh, on the old interwebs. Yeah, sure. Thanks. So uh, thrive.com, T-H-R-Y-V, by the way, not T not not thrive like the normal spelling, <laughs> T-H-R-Y-V.com. You can see it here on my shirt. Uh, that's, that's our company website. You can find out all about the software. And if you want to uh, listen to me, you can go on any place you'd find a podcast to uh, Winning on Main Street, or you can find us online at winningonmainstreet.com. Awesome. Well, I dropped the links to those places as well as your uh, LinkedIn profile over there in the comment section uh, on the uh, the things, and I'll put them, make sure they're in the show note as well. And so appreciate the time, man. I, I, I was on your show, fortunate enough to be invited on your show a few weeks ago. It was glad to do that. And I, I love what you guys are doing for the SMB audience out there. And I hope everybody uh, comes over and subscribes. Thanks, Jason. It's great being with you today. I appreciate it. All right. That is Gordon Henry, ladies and gentlemen. He is the Chief Strategy Officer at Thrive. So check that out, thrive.com. That's T-H-R-Y-V.com. All of the links are over in the in the show notes, or, or they're going to be on the show notes. They're over in the social media comment section there uh, where we're posting on the interwebs for the live stream. You know what I'll, You know what I'm saying. So just go find that over there. Oh boy, it's only Tuesday. I keep reminding myself. Um, all right. Speaking of podcasts, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about the Digging Deeper audio podcast. We're going to add, start adding some exclusive audio only content features uh, where I talk with brand managers and marketing people. Most of the time when we, uh, the, the people that are inspiring this, frankly, are the ones who can't do for whatever reason, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesdays. Either I can't schedule them and they would be a great guest or it's that the live stream thing. Sometimes maybe it intimidates people. I don't know. That's not been the uh, excuse given to me, but uh, we, we've been trying to book some interesting guests. We obviously do a good job with folks like Gordon Henry, uh, and we've got a lot of other people that we want to bring to you, but sometimes we run into conflicts because it's a live stream show. So we said, you know what, why don't we interview them anyway and just do a potty, uh, an audio podcast, patio. That's funny. Uh, an audio podcast version of the interview and have that as some, exclusive content on the Digging Deeper audio feed gives you more reason if you don't already to go subscribe to the audio version of Digging Deeper. Um, and we're, so we're going to start doing that. We're going to talk with brand managers, and marketing people, but we're also 
going to talk to some of the internal experts we have here at Cornette about various topics, their expertise, bring them to the table so that you can see more of our team and what we do here. Um, and I'm going to start out actually in the next uh, week or two, I'm going to start out the first couple of episodes. We have two young men here uh, on uh, the team at Cornette who with separate projects have been, we found out yesterday, have been honored by an advertising industry publication for their side projects, their side work. So we're going to talk to them a little bit more and we're going to dig deeper into what they do uh, away from Cornette, which inspires and invigorates their creativity that they bring to the table for our clients uh, at Cornette as well. And so a little inspiration for you uh, on that kind of side hustle concept. Uh, and some insight into the people that work here at Cornette, which, you know, you guys mostly just sort of see and interact with me. I know Christy and Whit Heiler have been on the show before. Uh, we want to bring a little bit more of the Cornette team to the table because we've got a lot of great, talented people here, and we want to make sure you know who they are uh, as well. Our first two uh, uh, audio-exclusive uh, podcast editions, uh, one of our young men has been honored for his work as a TikToker, so we have a, an, an established and accomplished TikToker here on the team. Um, and we're going to talk to him about that. And so we'll get some tick, TikTok insights. Um, and then we also have a young man here who uh, anybody who comes in the door uh, at Cornette probably knows and remembers. Uh, his name is Jared. And he uh, runs a, a, a music festival or two on the side. That's his passion. And so he has been uh, honored for that. Uh, work. And so we're going to sort of underline and expose that to all of you as audio only features uh, on the Digging Deeper podcast. So if you need to know where that is, in case you don't already, if you just go to cornet.online slash digging deeper uh, on your web browser, on your phone or on your desktop, you can get to the place where you can subscribe to the Digging Deeper audio podcast. It's really just to, the, to date, it's just been an audio version of this. We take the audio from our interviews every week. We pull all the audio off and we uh, put it up on the uh, on the audio podcast feed. Uh, that way, if you're commuting or traveling or whatnot, you don't get a chance to visit with us live here. You have a place uh, that's very convenient where you can go and get the audio podcast version of Digging Deeper without having to sit and watch the screen or anything. You can do it while you're doing yard work or whatever. Um, and so that's out there for you, but we want to make sure that we give people more reason and incentive to want to subscribe to that. So we're going to add a bunch more content to that coming up here in the next few weeks. So if you go to cornet.online slash digging deeper, you can get to that page where you can click on the Googles and the Amazons and the uh, Stitchers and the Spotify's and whatnot, or you can just go search for digging deeper uh, wherever you get your podcast. I would, uh, I would suggest you search for digging deeper cornet. That'll get you to it a little bit faster. You'll see the logo with the black and white, you know, bars there and whatnot. This thing right here, you'll see this. I'm going to take that off. If you're watching on the live stream, you'll see this as our cover art uh, on the Digging Deeper uh, audio podcast. But if you don't search, if you just search for Digging Deeper, you're, you're going to find a, a bunch of other ones because there's, I think Robert Plant has one called Dig Deep or something like that. So we've got a couple that we compete with from a naming perspective in the search engines there on the podcasts. But if you type in Digging Deeper Cornet, That'll get you there a little quicker. So add that audio podcast to your uh, podcast listening pleasure uh, in your apps over here in the next week or two. You're going to start to hear some additional exclusive audio content on the Cornette Digging Deeper feed there. And we do appreciate you. Uh, your patronage of our audio or our live stream or our recorded videos. Some of you watch on recorded videos as well uh, here on the interwebs. And we appreciate you coming by and spending some time with us. We know there's a lot of people out there creating content. There's a lot of noise out there. Uh, we are glad to be part of the signal that you surface in your content consumption. Next week on the big show, Dr. Emmanuel Probst will join us. I had his book. Well, we're getting ready to we're getting ready to move my office again. And I don't know where I put his book. I had it to show show you. But anyway, Dr. Emmanuel Probst will join us next week. His new book is called Brand Hacks. We're going to find out more about how the best brands are built around fulfilling the consumer's quest for meaning. Very useful conversation upcoming. Very interesting book. Uh, he is a professor, I believe, at UCLA. Uh, I, I might have that wrong, but I think he's a professor at UCLA. Um, and he'll, he'll join us next week to talk about brand hacks. 
Uh, that will be next Tuesday, November 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, live here on the interwebs. If you can't be there live, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can get to at cornet.online slash dig deep, uh, and you can watch the replays of any of our uh, live episodes there on demand. Or, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can go and listen to the audio podcast. Subscribe there. You'll get some uh, audio exclusive additional content there as well. That's at cornet.online slash digging deeper. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to bring us to the conclusion of our big show today. And as you know, ceremonially every week, I try to hit more buttons at one time while talking to you and closing out the show than is humanly uh, efficient to do. So I typically screw this up. And actually, I've gotten into a nice art form now. I don't screw it up because I take a couple of seconds to tell you I'm going to screw up. And in that extra couple of seconds, I can look down and see what I'm doing. So I don't screw up. So it's this like Schrodinger's cat kind of loop thing I'm going through. It's MC Escher in audio version trying to figure out how to close out the show every week. How about that? That'll do it for this edition of D Digging Deeper, Make Creativity Your Business Advantage. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you like the episode, share it with a friend or colleague who might as well. We are, uh, it's a production of the Cornette Group. See, I'm screwing it up again. Find us online at teamcornette.com. Our executive producer is Christy Heiler. Creative director is Jason Majeski, associate producer Ashley Harris. Our theme music is composed by Rex Banner. I'm your host, Jason Falls. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, I'll see you on the interwebs. <laughs>